Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, let's discuss about uh, segregation and bleeding of fresh concrete. Okay, so first uh, we'll completely discuss about what is segregation and uh, what are the causes of segregation, uh, what will be its effects and also how to control segregation. Uh, next we will see what is bleeding, uh, what are the causes which are uh, responsible for bleeding and also let's see how to control the bleeding of fresh concrete. So coming to segregation. So segregation is defined as the separation of constituent materials in concrete. So we have uh, concrete made up of some raw materials. So if those materials are no more a combined mass they do not they do not act homogeneous they get separated then that's called as segregation and generally this segregation is of three types first one is separation of coarse aggregate from the concrete mixture actually in a good concrete the aggregates are evenly coated with sand and cement paste thereby forming a homogeneous mass but if the concrete is subjected to segregation you can very clearly observe the coarse aggregate getting separated from the mortar the second type of segregation is separation of cement paste from the concrete during its plastic stage you know cement with water is called a cement paste so cement paste also gets separated and the third one is separation of water from the concrete mix if water alone separates or segregates from the concrete mix it is also a possible case of segregation what we particularly call it as bleeding so regarding this bleeding we will be uh, learning in a few more minutes so you can see in this diagram uh, the coarse aggregate is completely separated from the motor with this segregation so segregation of concrete will surely affect the strength and durability. This segregation includes some undesirable properties in the hardened concrete. It also causes honeycombing in concrete and, the, and also uh, leads to development of cavities which all ultimately result in lower strength and lower durability. What are the causes of segregation? what makes the concrete to get segregated in the sense what makes the raw materials to get segregated just now i was telling you three types of segregation that can possibly take place see so concrete is a mixture of cement fine and coarse aggregates along with water as told earlier a good concrete is the one in which all the constituents are uh, properly categorized and they form a good homogeneous mixture. The primary cause of segregation in concrete is the difference in specific gravity of the constituents. You know specific gravity of cement is in between 3.1 to 3.5 3.15 and for aggregates it is around uh, 2.6 to 2.7 you can see there's a pretty much difference in the specific gravity of cement and aggregates and also if you know the specific gravity of water is 1 so you can see there's a difference between the three raw material specific gravity this will be generally the primary reason why because there is a very much difference in specific gravity so due to this difference in specific gravity the lighter particles will move upwards and the heavier particles will try to move downwards so which is a lighter uh, particle in this all raw materials water since because its specific gravity is one what are heavier particles cement and aggregates so they move down so hence there is segregation this is actually the primary cause yes and also additionally we have some more causes like use of high water cement ratio in concrete so people what they do is this is especially uh, done on site so the unskilled workers or laborers uh, when they are mixing the concrete and when they are placing when they feel that the concrete is little bit lean and harsh 
they are keep adding water this water cement ratio will be greatly affected and thereby causes segregation and also excessive vibration of concrete with mechanical needle vibrators makes heavier particles settle at the bottom and lighter cement sand paste to come on top so excessive handling excessive vibration will make the concrete to segregate when concreting is done from height in case of underground foundations and rafts also causes concrete to segregate when concrete is dropped from a particular height there is a chance that all the raw materials get separated in the sense they get segregated so how to mitigate this segregation so how can we control the segregation segregation can be controlled by maintaining proper proportioning of the mix as told a higher water cement ratio is affecting hence you can reduce the water cement ratio and see that until you place the concrete the proportion uh, the mix proportions are not changed by peculiar handling placing transporting compacting and finishing of the concrete yes proper handling proper placing proper transporting proper compaction and proper finishing also can reduce the effect of segregation third one adding air entraining agents or admixtures and also pozzolanic materials in the mix can control segregation you can add air entraining agents air entraining admixtures you can also add pozzolanic materials like your uh, uh fly ash silica fume rises cash so that they due to the fineness they try to reduce the effect of separation wherever depth of concreting is more than 1.5 meters it should be placed through temporary inclined chutes i already told you one of the effect or one of sorry one of the cause of uh, segregation is dropping the concrete from particular heights so remember if uh, your concreting is to be done uh, into a depth of more than 1.5 meters you see that you use temporary inclined chutes the angle of inclination may be kept between 1:3 and 1:2 so that the concrete from top of the chutes travels smoothly to the bottom use of small quantity of free water from the top at intervals helps in lubricating the path of flow of concrete to the bottom smoothly the delivery end of the chute should be as close as possible to the point of deposit instead of dropping or instead of making the concrete to flow which is reason for uh, segregation see that wherever you want to deposit the concrete wherever you want to place the concrete see that the chute uh, end is closer to that okay so that uh, the dropping effect may be controlled and even segregation in deep foundations and rafts of thickness more than 1 meter there is every possibility of presence of segregated concrete near bottom or in center if there is no proper supervision such segregation can be detected by advanced method of testing like ultrasonic testing in case of doubt random ultrasonic testing should be conducted and if it is present the designer's opinion should be taken so such type of segregation can be rectified by pressure grounding with special chemical compounds after any defect is rectified by pressure grouting test has to be performed to ensure that the strength of concrete is up to the desired level next coming to bleeding bleeding in concrete i already told you bleeding is a form of segregation so bleeding is a form of segregation in which water present in the concrete mix will rise to the surface will will get pushed to the surface where thereby the cement and the aggregate will settle down as i told you the main reason is due to difference in specific gravity since water is having lesser specific gravity which is 1 whereas the specific gravity of aggregates in cement is more obviously water tends to move up 
and that effect is called as bleeding little bit of bleeding is okay it's normal it happens all the time but excessive bleeding can be really problematic so a concern has to be seen and remember bleeding generally occurs in wet mix of concrete so you can see in this diagram uh, the top surface you just observe for the complete concrete cube there is entire water so the water has risen up to the concrete surface so we have uh, generally two different types of uh, bleeding that can uh, possibly happen we have normal bleeding uh, which refers to uniform seepage of water over the entire surface like this what you have seen so over the entire concrete surface there is water next you have channel bleeding uh, which refers to water rising only through some particular parts remember not all water will bleed and uh, even that all bleeded water will not reach the surface some water may bleed up to the surface and some will remain trapped inside the aggregate and the reinforcement thereby causing a weakening of the bond between the paste as well as the reinforcing elements so the bond between the reinforcement and the cement paste will break this is also one of the effects of bleeding causes so what is making the concrete to bleed obviously higher water cement ratio is making the the primary primary reason is higher water cement ratio which makes the concrete very highly wet mix and thereby causing the bleeding to happen also a badly proportioned and insufficiently mixed concrete also can make the concrete to bleed but remember the prime factor for bleeding in concrete is high dosage of water cement ratio it weakens the concrete and leads to excessive bleeding a point is to be remembered here the bleeding in concrete is not harmful if the rate of evaporation of water is equal to the rate of bleeding normal bleeding as told is quite good it also enhances the workability of concrete when the concrete is fully plastic bleeding may not cause much harm however concrete is still in the plastic stage later it is subsidized and compacted what are the effects of bleeding how is bleeding affecting the concrete F due to the formation of latents structures may lose its wearing capacity and also may decrease its lifetime what is this latents so whatever you can see the formation of uh, complete water layer onto the surface that's called as latents and due to this the bonds between the reinforcement and the cement paste may get affected and hence the durability may be lost also second point water while moving from bottom to the top forms continuous channels yes water doesn't simply rise to the surface right it forms some path some channel and due to this channel the concrete becomes more permeable in nature and also it allows excess water from outside to go through it and hence again there is no bond between the inner constant materials of the concrete also which is your aggregate and the cement paste forming of water at the top surface of concrete results in delaying the surface finishing of course the surface doesn't become dry quickly so finishing is difficult as told uh, your concrete becomes more permeable in nature therefore it is losing its homogeneity therefore it's losing its compact nature so it will take less strength so it will be less durable and remember one important point excessive bleeding breaks the bond between the reinforcement and concrete as told earlier but how to control this uh, bleeding i told the primary reason is use of higher water cement ratio so therefore first reduce the water content you know generally water reducers like our uh, plasters and super plasters will reduce bleeding but they may actually end up increasing this rate based on the chemical composition so try to check the feasibility and then use it uh use of 
finer cement more cement content increase amount of fines in the sand so use more finer sand and uh, use of supplementary cementitious materials as told like uh, mineral admixtures like uh, fly ash silica fume rices cash metacaolin they can reduce the effect of bleeding and also use of air in training admixtures as discussed in segregation so they reduce bleeding by increasing the cohesion in the fresh concrete and hence slowing the segregation process so i hope everybody understood the concept of segregation and bleeding thanks for watching